Hey guys, welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to my art studio. If you're new here, I'm Victor Barani. I'm a fine art uh, painter known on Instagram for my uh, Kintsugi artworks. Uh, you can check it out. I will put down the link on my socials uh, down in the description. Hope you've noticed that I've changed my uh, camera setup and my and uh, also I got a new mic so I have a better quality video for you and yeah uh, today's video is going to be about this uh, new piece that I've made it's already varnished and uh, ready and here it is it is the Kintsugi Aqua piece I've made a smaller version uh, it's easy for me to film uh, this type of um, artwork when it's smaller uh, it's an acrylic painting on canvas here you can see I have not already signed it on the back and put the uh, certificate and everything but here it is I'm really happy to show you my work with my new camera setup and uh, I will also do some more videos on YouTube about uh, art and uh, also ISMR video, uh, art related ISMR videos. Uh, I will make a playlist of ISMR videos. I know that uh, not everyone likes ISMR but I really enjoy it so I thought to myself why not doing some uh, on my channel. So let's start the video and uh, thank you for watching. I've already prepped my canvas. Uh, here I have a 50 by 50 centimeters canvas. I've uh, already put gesso on it and uh, yeah, draw my lines and uh, everything is dry. So now I'm mixing my paint, my acrylic paint. Uh, I have a dark color, a medium dark, a lighter color, sorry and uh, my white. I start by uh, mixing the black and uh, blue together. It's a slight greenish blue. I like to use uh, water to dissolve my paint because it is always uh, too thick for me to work. Here you can see that I've used different brushes to uh, blend my paint, blend my colors together. If you want to learn more about my acrylic uh, techniques and how to blend your acrylics like this, uh, I will certainly do um, a separate video to tell you more about what I use and what I do. So now I just continue to paint all over my canvas. Uh, I like to paint like uh, a gate slice imitation like you see now. I like to work also with different layers of paint to create some uh, transparency and uh, different um, gradient colors like you see here. Since I don't want uh, my paint to be too thick and have brush strokes all over. I like to blend, blend, blend my colors. Now I had some different highlights with my white to 
make again some more transparency since I tried to imitate the stone like marble and uh, a gate stone. I like also to use some Posca pen to do some fine details. It's easy to work with and uh, really easy to blend also. Now I'm glazing a new color here. Uh, it's more of a yellow color just to make some contrast with the blue. Here I'm mixing my uh, dark brown color to make the, the lines of my Kintsuji artwork pop and also to make a base for my uh, gold leaf that I will add uh, later. Here you can see that I'm using a brush, a long brush to make fine lines it's a lining brush and I will paint all the lines of my uh, Kintsuji artwork with it also the brown will help when uh, I will apply the gold leaf uh, glue because I will be able to see more where I have uh, added the uh, gold leaf glue since the, the glue is transparent. I'm also adding some details, some brown details like uh, cracks in the stone. I will let my paint uh, dry and uh, we can go now with the gilding paste. Is, this is the gold leaf uh, glue uh, it dries in 10 to 15 minutes and uh, yeah so now I'm applying this glue all the way through my cracks and uh, as I said uh, I can really see where I apply the leaf the the gold leaf uh, glue because of my dark uh, cracks Now that my uh, glue is dry, uh, I can apply the, the gold leaf. When the glue is dry, it still stays um, tacky, you know, and so you can put your gold leaf on top and it will stick. Here I'm using copper leaf uh, and that it looks like uh, like gold but it's not real gold okay these leaves are really easy to use and uh, great for uh, this type of project but you will need to to put some varnish on it because because it can oxidize uh, by the time now I'm pressing down the, the leaf to remove the excess leaf uh, with a soft brush and also with my uh, end Before applying the varnish, I need to clean everything and remove all the gold dust, like here with my hand. I'm using um, a solvent 
free uh, varnish, a water-based varnish from uh, Liquitex. This is the eye gloss one. I like to do two to three coats of it. I work little by little to to really control the amount of varnish and uh, control the brush stroke. I will add uh, two coats on this one. And uh, now we can see the full result. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, I wish you all a nice day and uh, see you. Bye. Bye guys.